Good day. Welcome to our general mathematics class. This is teacher Riza. And our lesson for today is all about introduction to logarithm. From here, we're going to discuss common logarithm, natural logarithm, richer scale, sound intensity, and pH level. Our learning competency for this lesson is the learner represents the real life situations using logarithmic functions. So by definition, let A, B, and C be positive real numbers such that B is not equal to 1. The logarithm of A with base B is denoted by log of A to the base of B and is defined as C is equal to logarithm of A to the base of B. Or that is, the logarithm of A to the base of B is equal to C. If and only if A is equal to B raised to C. Or B raised to C is equal to A. Wherein B is the base, C is the exponent, and A is the answer. And in logarithm, that is log is logarithm, A is the answer, and B is the base, and C is the exponent. For example, the logarithm of A to the base of 2 is equal to 3. That is, since 2 is the base, and 3 is the exponent, and A is the answer, so that is 2 cubed is equal to 8. So what is a common logarithm? Common logarithms are logarithms with base 10. That is, log of x is a short note shown for log of x to the base of 10. For example, 10 squared is equal to 100. Or, that is, log of 100 to the base of 10 is equal to 2. So, in common logarithm, we don't need to write base 10 anymore. So, this will be log of 100 is equal to 2. And what is a natural logarithm? Natural logarithms are logarithms to the base of E that is approximately 2.71828 and denoted by LN. In other words, the natural logarithm of X is another way of writing log of X to the base of E. For example, E cubed is equal to X. So that is the logarithm of X x to the base of e is equal to 3 or that is the natural logarithm of x is equal to 3. Now let's try to write exponential form into logarithmic form. For example, we have 5 cubed is equal to 125. So in logarithmic form, that is log of 125 to the base of 5 is equal to 3. 4 raised to 0 is equal to 1. In logarithmic form, that is, the logarithm of 1 to the base of 4 is equal to 0. 7 raised to negative 2 is equal to 1 over 49. That is, the logarithm of 1 over 49 to the base of 7 is equal to negative 2. Then, 7 raised to b is equal to 21. That is, the logarithm of 21 to the base of 7 is equal to b. Then, 10 squared is equal to 100. That is, the logarithm of 100 is equal to 2. So, this is a common logarithm. What about exponential form into logarithmic form? For example, we have e squared is equal to x. So, we have the natural logarithm of x is equal to 2. Then we have 2 third raised to third power is equal to 125. So in logarithmic form, that is log of 125 to the base of 2 third is equal to 3. Negative 2 squared is equal to 4. In logarithmic form, that is logarithm of 4 to the base of negative 2 is equal to 2. 0 0.1 raised to negative 4 is equal to 10,000. So that is the logarithm of 10,000 to the base of 0 0.1 is equal to negative 4. <clears throat> In 
writing logarithmic form into exponential form, for example, we have log of m is equal to n. Since this is a natural logarithm, so that means this is in base 10. That is 10 raised to n is equal to m in exponential form. The logarithmic form log of 81 to the base of 3 is equal to 4. Remember that the base here is 3 and the exponent is 4. And the answer is 81. So in exponential form, that is 3 raised to the fourth power is equal to 81. Then we have the logarithm of 5 to the base of square root of 5 is equal to 2. The base here is square root of 5 and the exponent is 2. And the answer is 5. So we have the square root of 5 squared is equal to 5. Then the logarithm of 64 over 27 to the base of 3 fourth is equal to negative 3. That is 3 fourth raised to negative 3 is equal to 64 over 27. The logarithm of 2 to the base of 4 is equal to 1 half. In exponential form is 4 raised to 1 half is equal to 2. And the logarithm of point 0 0.001 to the base of 10 is equal to negative 3. Again, this is a common logarithm. So that is 10 raised to negative 3 is equal to 0 0.001. The natural logarithm of 8 is equal to a. So that is a natural logarithm means to the base of e. So that's e raised to a is equal to 8. Now, how are we going to use logarithmic function in real-life situations? Some of the most common applications in real life of logarithms are the Richard scale, sound intensity, and pH level. So what is a Richard scale? In 1935, Richard proposed a logarithmic scale to measure the intensity of an earthquake. He defined the magnitude of an earthquake as a function of its amplitude or a standard seismograph. The following formula produces the same result, but is based on the energy released by an earthquake. So the earthquake magnitude on a richer scale is R is equal to two-thirds of logarithm of E over 10 raised to 4.40 where E is the energy released by the earthquake, which is the quantity 10 raised to 4.40 joules, is the energy released by a small, a very small reference earthquake. For example, suppose that an earthquake released approximately 10 raised to 12 joules of energy. What is its magnitude on a richer scale? How much more energy does this earthquake release than the reference earthquake? So given energy is equal to 10 raised to 12, and using the formula R is equal to 2 thirds of log of E over 10 raised to 4.40. So substituting now the value of E, which is 10 raised to the 12 power. So this is the quotient of logarithm. So that means we're going to subtract. That is log of 10 raised to the 12 power minus log of 10 raised to 4.40, which is equal to log of 10 raised to 7.6. And R is equal to 2 third log of 10 raised to 7.6 is log of 10 raised to 7.6 is equal to what? And that is log of 10 raised to 7.6 to the base of 10, which is equal to 7.6. So therefore, R is equal to 2 third now, since log of 10 raised to 7.6 is equal to 7.6, so we're going now to multiply 2 third times 7.6, so it's equal to 5.1. So therefore, 5.1 is the magnitude in richer scale. This earthquake really says 10 raised to 12 power over 10 raised to 4.40, or that is equal to 10 raised to 7.6, which is equal to 39,810,717 times more energy than the reference earthquake. So we have here the magnitude and description of an earthquake. For magnitude 1, that is scarcely perceptible. 2 is slightly felt. 3 is weak. 4 is moderately strong. 
5 is strong. Since our answer in the problem is 5.1, so the magnitude 5.1 is strong shaking and rocking felt throughout building. Hanging objects swing violently. And for 6 is very strong. 7 is destructive. 8 is very destructive. And 9 is devastating. An example of this is the earthquake happened on March 11, 2011 at 2.46 p.m. A 9.1 magnitude earthquake takes place 231 miles northeast of Tokyo at a depth of 15.2 miles. The earthquake causes a tsunami with 30-foot waves that damage several nuclear reactors in the area. It is the largest earthquake of ever to hit Japan. And we have 9 is devastating, so 10 is completely devastating. And did you know that the largest earthquake instrumental recorded had a magnitude of 9.5 and occurred in Southeast Chile on May 22, 1960. It produced a tsunami that killed people around the Pacific Basin in Hawaii, California, Japan, the Philippines, and the other locations. We can also apply logarithmic in real life situation using sound intensity. In acoustics, the decibels level of sound is d is equal to 10 log of i over 10 raised to negative 12, where i is the sound intensity in watts per square meter. That is the quantity of 10 raised to negative 12 watts over m squared is the least audible sound of a human can hear. So we have here the sound intensity level. So the decibel level of a sound in a quiet office is, example, is 10 raised to negative 6 watts per square meter. What is the corresponding sound intensity in decibels? How much more intense is this sound than the least audible sound a human can hear? So using d is equal to 10 log of i over 10 raised to negative 12, wherein i given is 10 raised to negative 6, that is a division of the logarithm. So that means we're going to subtract 10 raised to negative 6 minus 10 raised to negative 12, which is equal to 10 raised to 6 power. So therefore, that is equal to, not to 10 log of 10 raised to 6. And log of 10 raised to 6 is equal to 6. So therefore, 10 times 6 is equal to 60 decibels. This sound is 10 raised to negative 6 over 10 raised to negative 12 is equal to 10 to the 6th power, which is equal to 1 million times more intense the least audible sound a human can hear. And we have here the acidity and the pH scale. The pH level of water-based solution is defined as pH is equal to negative log of H positive, where H positive is the concentration of hydrogen ions in mole per liter. Solution with a pH of 7 are defined neutral, like the baking soda, seawater, and human blood. And those with pH less than 7 are acidic, like black coffee, vinegar, stomach acid, and lemon juice. And those with pH greater than 7 are basic, like the household ammonia, and the household bleach, and the sodium. An example, a liter solution contains 0 0.001 moles of hydrogen ions. Find its pH level. Since there are 0 0.001 moles of hydrogen ions in 1 liter, then the concentration of hydrogen ions is 10 raised to negative 5 moles per liter. That is 0 0.001 is also equal to 1 over 100,000 or that is equal to 1 over 10 raised to the 5th power, or that is equal to 10 raised to negative 5. 
and pH is equal to negative log of H positive. So therefore, pH is equal to negative log of 10 raised to negative 5. So we have now pH is equal to negative log of 10 raised to negative 5, which is equal to log of 10 raised to negative 5 to the base of 10 is equal to negative 5 using the properties of logarithm. So pH now is equal to negative log of 10 raised to negative 5, which is equal to log of 10 raised to negative 5 is negative 5, and negative times negative 5 is equal to positive. So for your activity, you're going to rewrite the following exponential equations in logarithmic form, which is entitled write what? So that is 1, 2, 3, 4, and 5. And then for letter B, rewrite the following logarithmic form and exponential equation. That is from 6, 7, 8, 9, and 10. And then for activity 2, you're going to choose one problem. This entitled How Are Logarithm Useful? So you're going to read and analyze and solve the given problems. Then show your solution. Choose only one problem. Again, so before we end this lesson, let me share this inspiring quotation. Big journeys begin with small steps. So again, this is Teacher Riza saying, please stay home and take care. Please don't forget to like and subscribe. Thank you and have a nice day.